I love verbena as one of my primary purification ingredients. And I usually use a spray perfume of verbena. This is one of my very favorites by L'Occitane. And I like these commercial perfumes because they are so well made and they smell delicious. But I also like to use my own purification spray. Now in hoodoo, it's often called Van Van. And that term Van Van has spilled over into a lot of non-hoodoo oriented magical practices. So you'll hear me calling it Van Van quite a lot. Now, Verbena is the original Van Van. Verbena perfume has always been the original Van Van, but it's expensive and it always has been somewhat expensive to get lemon Verbena perfume. So many of the Van Van perfumes that are used and have been used are recreations of this scent. And one of the formulas that is often used is a combination of Palmarosa, lemongrass, citronella, and a tiny little bit of lemon. Some people like to put vetiver as as well uh, because they want it to have a base note, but that's not really um, my preference. All right, but the most authentic Van Van that you can get is pure verbena essential oil all by itself. Now, this is an oil, so to make it usable as a as a spray because I don't use incense in my in my environment. I I use sprays instead of incense. What I have here is some pure grain alcohol. It's called ethanol and it's uh, known as Everclear. Now, you can use perfumer's alcohol. You can get that um a probably be able to put a link to that on this video, perfumer's alcohol, if you can't get Everclear in your state. Another option is to use just regular rubbing alcohol. Use the highest alcohol content of rubbing alcohol you can find. The only problem with rubbing alcohol is it does have a, a bitter sort of smell to it, but that disperses rather quickly and, and you'll smell the, the verbena or the, the combination of these other oils if you're using those. The other thing about this this is that it's not intended to be a long-lasting scent. It only lasts for maybe a few minutes, sometimes as, as little as 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, so now I've got two-thirds of a bottle of alcohol, and I'm going to put an entire third of a bottle of this Verbena essential oil in here. And that's about the strength of an eau de parfum. Now, you don't have to make it as strong as I do. You can you can have as little as... as um, 10% or less even of essential oil, but I want it strong because like I said, it doesn't last long anyway. And so I've got this in here. I'm just going to shake it up and then I'll label this verbena or van van. Now this is actually already to use as is, but it becomes less alcohol smelly if you as you let it uh, set usually for about a week. So I'm going to just go ahead and use three sprays. One, two, three, as a purification for my space. Now again, you always want to make sure you label this. And if this verbena essential oil is hard to find or too expensive, then you can use a combination of citronella, lemongrass, palmarosa, and uh, uh, maybe a drop or two of lemon oil and you will be just fine, and it smells divine. This is a wonderful purification. It's a wonderful uh, alternative to smudge sticks if you don't like to burn things in your home. Uh, and uh, if you don't like it this strong, like I said, you can make it as strong or as weak as you like it. And that's the good thing about doing a do-it-yourself spray perfume. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Much love and many, many blessings. <laughs>